A major growth of graffiti in Toronto and we've learned there's been a surge about graffiti on private property compared to last year and tagging like this at a historic statue at U of T is causing an uproar. I think tagging is claiming space, you know, and, and I understand that the need for people to claim public space, but public space is a different story than somebody else's artwork. So I'm not objecting to tagging public space, I'm objecting to tagging somebody else's artwork. I think it's very offensive to, to do that. Why is it offensive? Because the art is a representation in itself. I don't know, there's like a 50-50 feeling on it. It's art for art's sake, and people are expressing themselves, and I always think that's great. Is it vandalism? Potentially you could see it that way. It's called the Unknown Student, erected in the late 1960s and a remnant of a failed educational co-op that used to exist here. <laughs> While graffiti artists often use public space to display their work, many feel defacing a part of art crosses the line. But I also wouldn't go and destroy somebody else's art because they obviously paid them to do this. The City of Toronto told City News that the amount of graffiti complaints on private property has increased from more than 1,100 last year to more than 1,700 so far this year. That's a surge of 54%. Yeah. The City doesn't foot the bill to clear graffiti from private property, but it does pay to wipe clean public spaces. We reached out to find out how much it costs taxpayers each year. Those numbers weren't available, but a 2011 report prepared for the City showed it spends about $2 million a year on graffiti-related removal. So why would someone stain a piece of public art? One muralist we spoke to says it has to do with street cred and maybe a lack of public space to paint. Whether they're artists or whether they're just taggers, people want space to be able to express themselves. And sometimes those those ways of expressing is, is contentious at the cost of, of uh, people who own the property. It's at the cost of, uh, perhaps if it's on public art, of the, the people who made it and the people who paid for that. The City of Toronto's Public Arts Office posted on social media that while this isn't on public property, they do plan on sending a crew to clean this up. Along Bloor and Huron, I'm Brandon Rose, City News.